From the Opelco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is an OSU football update with Gina Meinzel. I'm Jenny Carlson. Gina, a lot of questions coming out of the Tulsa game about Oklahoma State's run defense, especially in Texas A&M week. They've got some great running backs, the Aggies do. How much concern is there among Oklahoma State folks about that? Well, I think that's the biggest glaring thing that came out of the Tulsa game. Obviously, OSU's defense, the front seven has been a question mark coming into the season. And up until that Tulsa game, you know, they'd played pretty well against Louisiana Lafayette and Arizona, which when you allow 365 rushing yards, two guys went over 100 yards, which hadn't happened in Tulsa history since 2006. So it's definitely a concern for the Cowboys and something that Bill Young wasn't happy about, something Mike Gundy wasn't happy about. But it's so hard to look at, you know, how much stock do you put into a game that was played at 1 o'clock in the morning? And just that's going to be an interesting thing to, to evaluate for this team. And they should get Alex Elkins back, the linebacker. So that should, you know, help things going forward. But you're right, Cyrus Gray is a great runner. He's, um, you know, a huge weapon for this team. And this is really the most balanced offense that OSU is going to face us so far this season in Texas A&M. When you talk about balance and in that Tulsa game, and I'm not, I'm not excusing 365 <laughs> yards of, of running, but... They did lose their quarterback, mm -hmm. Tulsa did, G.J. Kenney. Does that sort of change how much leeway you give the Cowboys in that game because of that? Yeah, well, I'm sure that it changed Tulsa's approach to how they were going to, you know, go with this game now. You know, you lose your starting quarterback, you lose someone that's as talented as G.J. Kenney, um, you know, Bill Blankenship said he's the best quarterback in Oklahoma. I don't know about that, but obviously he's a huge weapon throwing the football and running the football. So I think Tulsa's game plan changed once he went down, and therefore, you know, OSU's defense isn't quite as prepared for what's going to happen. But still, it's a lot of yards to give up. So it'll be interesting to see. That's something that's going to have to be corrected very quickly, or else Texas A&M is going to run all over them. All right. Thanks, Gina. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoma.